So much of HSU athletics takes place on or off the field, but the biggest night really for all the sports is the Humboldt State Sports Auction, which took place this past Saturday night with Jim Harbaugh, who's currently the head football coach at Stanford University. He's a Northern California guy, plus he was a coach for the Bears and Mike Didka, Indianapolis Colts, even the Chargers, I believe. I caught up with Jim Harbaugh before the event, and here is Jim Harbaugh and me, J.B. Mathers. All righty, Humboldt State tonight, live at the auction. J.B. Mathers with Jim Harbaugh. It is a pleasure. Uh, coach, thanks for coming up to the North Coast. It's really been uh, our pleasure. My wife, Sarah, and I are uh, meeting a lot of great people, seeing some great sights our first time in Humboldt County. I mean, guys like Matt Nutter up here, you should be up here more often. You know, Matt, uh, he praises you uh, Palo Alto types all the time. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I got, a, I got a nice email from Matt uh, recently, and uh, he was a fireball and lefty. <laughs> At, uh, for our Palo Alto American Legion team, uh, great uh, baseball player at Pally High, and I can't wait to see him. Haven't seen him yet, but uh, looking forward to it. And his sister Lynette, who is uh, also a, a classmate of mine at Pally High. All right, you're coming up here. Uh, obviously, it's all about raising money for HSU tonight. Uh, where do you fit into that role? Well, you know, I've, um, um, I don't know, hopefully uh, create a little enthusiasm, uh, a perspective maybe of, of you know, somebody that's uh, – you know, also been involved, uh, you know, at the college level building programs at Stanford uh, and also at the University of San Diego, a small, small Division One AA non-scholarship program. And, uh, you know, that's how we survived. That's how we that's how we thrived. And um, same with my dad at Western Kentucky. They won a national championship. But, you know, the auction every year was was, uh, you know, financially the lifeblood of the, of the football program. So you know, hopefully kind of bring that perspective and a little enthusiasm to the evening. All right. Uh, you know from being at San Diego, of course, you're at Stanford now in uh, Pac-10, but uh, small college football is kind of under siege here on the West Coast, and it's dying out. Western Washington has dropped their program you know, years before. A lot of the state schools, Humboldt State, has kept it going strong. Uh, look, you're a Pac-10 guy, but how important is it to just the game of football to keep these small schools playing football? Well, I mean, it's it's so important. I mean, you're basically teaching leadership. It's leadership uh, class on on uh, fall afternoons. You know, St. Mary's, who dropped their program five six years yeah. ago. I mean, that was the third longest football program in the state of California when when they dropped out. But uh, you know, there's there definitely uh, you know people that care about the game, people uh, who respect the game, people who have benefited from the game, uh, know what it does. You know how many life lessons it, it teaches you, and you know it's an, an important, you know, for those of us who who care about the game to to step up when we have a chance, and uh, you know, so we're so you're not having to you know save the program or you know 10 years from now try to bring the program back and all that, but just you know keep it going and, and keep it thriving, and uh, you know keep teaching these young men uh, some very important lessons because they're make, it's going to make them uh, make them uh, you know better husbands. Uh, better community men or members, better fathers. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people understand that, uh, you know, most of these guys, even at Stanford, majority of guys in the Pac-10 are not going to go pro in football, but they're going to go on, as the NCAA says, be pro in something else. Mm -hmm. uh, why do athletes, football, basketball, baseball, water polo, tend to make, uh, you know, good employees for the professional folks out there when it's all said and done? Well, I mean, first, first and foremost, uh, they, should, they should know how to be part of a team. And uh, just about everything these days is, you know, is teamwork uh, in businesses and communities. They know how to communicate. Uh, they know how to compete. You know, they know how to persevere. They know how to, uh, you know, get down in the mud on cold days and, uh, you know, put their head down in the weight room and, and train, uh, you know, to be the best. So, um, yeah, that's uh, there's a lot of a lot of things about sports that, that can be gleaned and, uh, you know, make them better citizens. All right, you got a chance to meet Rob Smith and the Lumberjacks today. What would you tell the guys? You know, basically got, been, been where they've been and, uh, you know, kind of still are where they, they are right now, uh, you know, trying to build something great. You know, just some of the key, key ingredients that, uh, you know, have seen uh, through the years, both playing and coaching. And, uh, you know, there's no difference between Stanford and, and Humboldt or SC and USD. I mean, it's, it's football and, uh, you know, play it to be the best. You know, a love for the game is, is what's most important. What's uh, more satisfying, getting that big coaching victory like the game over USC or uh, a big touchdown pass for Michigan or maybe uh, the Colts, the Bears, uh, on or off the field? What, what do you prefer? Okay, I love the thrill of winning. You know, the, the, um, the contributing 
to the winning. And um, whether it's as a player or the coach, it feels just as good. And then, you know, even the, uh, even the losing, you know, as a coach or as a player. I mean, coming back the next week and making darn sure it never happens again. But, just, but being a part of the team and uh, being a contributing member to it, I mean, I think you get a great thrill both as a coach and as a player. Coach, thank you for joining us. And it turned out to be a great night for Humboldt State Athletics as the auction this year, they got over $167,000 to go to the coffers, and that equals scholarships and more championships here at Humboldt State. But you can still give 365 days a year. You can do that at hsujacks.com. want to thank Shelly. want to thank Coach Smith, if he'll still talk to me, and, of course, Jim Harbaugh. He was fabulous as the guest speaker. I want to thank Baywood Golf and Country Club, Coast Central Credit Union, Miller Farms, Del Rica Distributing, Miller Lite, and Bear River Casino, as well as Schaefer's Ace Hardware. I'm Jamie Mathers.